Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So this week I'm going to be making a vegan sourdough pizza. So for the crust, it's going to be made from sourdough. It's the same sourdough that I use for all the bread recipes. And if you're curious what that recipe is, I have a video that I will link down below for the beginner sourdough loaf. I'm using that, except I'm halving the recipe. The camera is going to pick up on this noise. It sucks for the camera. So I have the dough already here, ready to go. Just need some shaping and then it's going to puff up a little bit. And then for the sauce, obviously, it's that's fine. There's no animal products in sauce. And when it comes to the cheese, I'm going to be using my homemade vegan mozzarella. So if you're interested to see how I did that, I'm going to be putting the link down below in the description so you can watch that and see and yeah. So let's get started. I hate you. Okay, so good morning. Um, today's video, I'm sure I already told you, but I'm gonna be making a vegan sourdough pizza. So in order to do that, in the morning, we have to prepare a couple ingredients. So, so far, I have prepared half of a sourdough batch, so if you are curious as to what that recipe is, you can go ahead and check out my beginner sourdough recipe. It's basically that recipe, I just halved it. So I'm going to be leaving that all day to sit instead of just folding it as you're supposed to or kneading it as you're supposed to. I'm just kind of letting it go because I got things I got to do today. And then also I'm going to be starting a tomato sauce that I'm going to be leaving in a crock pot all day. So I'll show you what consists of that and show you what I have all together for that. So here you go. So as you can see, here what here's what's going in the sauce. I got half an onion roughly chopped. Um, a nice handful of my cherry tomatoes straight from our garden and then I have some chopped up Campari tomatoes chopped up Roma tomatoes and then a chopped up bell pepper that's also roughly chopped because everything's gonna kind of uh, break down once it's in the sauce for a while and I'm also gonna be using two cans of fire roasted diced tomatoes so yeah this is all gonna go into the crock pot together I'm just gonna throw this in maybe later on I'll add a little bit of basil oregano that kind of stuff but for now this is all that's going in it's just gonna sit on low heat for about six to eight hours and then excuse me <laughs> and then we'll see where we're at there okay so here we are I added everything to the crock pot along with the tomatoes and I also forgot to mention that I put in a couple aka like six cloves of garlic so now I'm gonna leave this to sit on low have it set to low for about six to eight hours as long as I'll be away and then we will check up on it see if we need to do anything or add anything and hopefully it'll be in a good spot wake baby say hello <laughs> alright so here's the dough it's all ready to be turned into a pizza and I have a nice floured surface I'm gonna scrape it right down I'm going to flour the top of this. So now I'm going to start to shape this into a pizza. And I'm going to make this more of a rustic shape because I don't have a pizza stone and I have a baking sheet upside down in the oven right now preheating. So I have to make it so that it'll fit on the baking sheet. It's going to be a more of a longer pizza. I love me a weird shaped pizza. So I'm going to put some sauce on there. This is my homemade sauce that I made earlier today, by the way. And now I have my vegan cheese. I'm going to just break it off into pieces and put it on top. And now we'll get to see how the cheese melts. We're going to check on this in about 10 minutes, and then we maybe might need to put it in a little longer than that, but we'll play it by ear. We'll see how it's looking. Believe it or not, this has been baked for about 20 minutes. Crust is perfectly cooked, it's just I did not put any olive oil on it, so it's a little bit unbaked looking, but I promise it's cooked. You can hear it. The cheese clearly did not melt. It got like stiff on the outside and then when you press it, it kind of will like melt. 
it, it's weird I don't know well I guess we'll have to try it to find out for sure so I'm gonna top this off with a little bit of fresh basil okay and then we can give it a real try all right I'm here I'm in different clothes now so I could just pretend like I didn't make this video the same day as the last one but whatever okay so here's bro Here's a slice. The crust looks pretty airy and you can see the bubbles in there. And then the cheese did not melt like it said it was going to. There's some basil on there. So let's try it. I'll be 100% honest with you. I can't even taste this cheese. Even when I bite directly, like if I eat just a bite of cheese, I can't even taste it. I only taste the sauce. Mm. The crust is really good. Mm -hmm. Overall, this is decent. The cheese is okay. I kind of want to play around with some other vegan cheese recipes because this one is pretty decent but it's not not the best not the worst either it's definitely good it's not like it tastes bad it just doesn't taste like cheese it tastes cheesy but it doesn't taste like cheese and those are two very distinct things by the way the sauce came out good because I put my secret ingredient aka bell pepper in there and also I forgot to mention I did show that I put it into the crock pot on low and I let it sit all day but I didn't show where I emulsified it with my immersion blender and then I threw it into a, just a saucepan and I, I let the sauce condense so it could get a bit thicker and actually be like saucy when if you leave it in the crock pot I just see it's very watery so I had to take it out so it could thicken but yeah so that's my verdict I would give this probably if I was a teacher I would give it probably like a B minus because just because you can't really taste the cheese nor does it give you a cheesy flavor actually it does give you a cheesy flavor but it's not cheese but yeah whatever thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned next week to see what i make next uh don't forget to subscribe to my channel leave a comment down below and yeah i will see you next week bye